Born and educated in what was then Pakistan, F.C. Kohli had two choices after college, a commission in the Navy or a scholarship to study abroad. Finally, I chose the scholarship. I went abroad, graduated in power engineering at Queen's. Then I worked with Canadian General Electric for a year and then masters at MIT. After MIT, Dr. Kohli was offered a job with the Tatas. I came and helped Tata Electric Company to set up management system, or do you call it load dispatching. First it was setting up the system for entire Bombay Pune grid, reliable system operation where there's no shutdown. Efficiency is very high. I had introduced computers in Tata Electric companies right from 62 and 64. Finally, when the Tatas decided to set up a computer consultancy company, they asked Dr. Kohli to take charge. The first few years were difficult. There was not much computerization work in India. So I had to go for export and that time I developed contact with Burroughs, which was number two computer company and they gave was the first export job in software. Today, if you take the Indian computer industry, most of the work is exports, which we started. What we have done, we have won the recognition at the world over that Indians can do very complex tasks. Today, known as the father of the Indian software industry, Dr. Kohli is still contributing to his nation. There were 100 million adults who were illiterate. We experimented with a lot of people in different Indian languages, and we came to a conclusion between 500 to 600 word vocabulary a person will be able to read. And that is what we tried to experiment in a Telugu first, and it worked. Everywhere, he has built people and built organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, EY Entrepreneur of the Year Lifetime Achievement Winner, Dr. F.C. Kohli.